about the flow net and the question that has been given to us is that the hydraulic conductivity of the soil is 3.6 into 10 raised power minus 5 meter per second and the saturated unit weight of soil is 20 kilo newton per meter cube using the flow net we have to determine the flow rate through the dam total head at point A pore water pressure at point A effective vertical stress at point A and factor of safety of exit gradient against quicksand conditions first thing we are going to determine in the flow net that the number of flow channels and number of equipotential drops we can see that there are three flow channels in the flow net one two and three and now there are ten equipotential drops in the flow net one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten and the total head loss through the dam is six meter as the upstream water level is six meter and downstream water level is zero meter it means that the total head loss through the dam is six minus zero is equal to six meter the head loss per equipotential drop is six total head loss divided by number of equipotential drops which gives 6 by 10 is the head loss per equipotential drop or 0 0.6 meter the permeability of the soil has been given is equal to 3.6 into 10 raised power minus 5 meter per second so the flow rate through the dam is equal to k into h into nf divided by nd putting values we get the flow rate through the dam is equal to 6.48 into 10 raised power minus 5 meter cube per second per meter length of dam now to calculate the total head at a we have to calculate the head loss up to a as the total head at a is equal to total head at upstream minus head loss up to a head loss up to a is equal to number of equipotential drops up to a into head loss per equipotential drop so the total head as we can see that the number of equipotential drops up to a are 2 1 and 2 a lies on this second equipotential line so the total head at a is total head at upstream 6 meter minus number of equipotential drops up to a that is 2 and head loss per equipotential drop 6 by 10 which gives the total head at A is equal to 4.8 meter. Now, taking the datum as this line, the elevation head of point A is equal to minus 8.5 meter because A is towards the downward direction. That's why the A elevation of A is taken as minus. It is minus 8.5 meter from datum. So the elevation head of A is minus 8.5 meter. Pressure head at A is equal to total head at A minus elevation head of A. Total head at A has been determined 4.8 minus times minus 8.5 which gives the pressure head at A is equal to 13.5 meter. Pore pressure at A is equal to pressure head at A into unit weight of water which is equal to 13.3 into 9.81 which gives the pore pressure at A. Total stress at uh, point A is equal to unit weight of soil into depth up to point A which is 8.5 meter plus unit weight of water into total depth of water up to point A which is 6 plus 8.5 meter. So putting values as the saturated unit weight of soil is 20 into 8.5 plus 9.81 into 14.5 gives the total stress at A. As we know that effective stress is equal to total stress minus pore pressure. So the effective stress is equal to total stress minus pore pressure already determined in part C which gives the total stress at point A. The exit gradient at uh, point A is equal to head loss per equipotential drop divided by length of flow as head loss per equipotential drop is equal to 0 0.6 meter and the length of flow is equal to 1 meter we can see from flow net that the length of flow is 1 meter so exit gradient is equal to 0 0.6 divided by 1 is equal to 0 0.6 k 
critical exit gradient is equal to submerged unit weight divided by unit weight of water so submerged unit weight is equal to saturated unit weight minus unit weight of water which gives divided by unit weight of water gives the critical exit gradient factor of safety against quicksand is equal to critical exit gradient divided by exit gradient which gives the factor of safety against the quicksand condition hope you guys liked my answer and if you want answer to more important civil engineering questions please subscribe to my channel thank you